we're tired of starting every day in good moods at work so we decided today we're gonna be in bad moods I'm gonna put a bunch of cock in here I ain't doing shit it looks stability <laughs> I've, got a, I've got an actual tripod so the camera doesn't do this <laughs> It is not just taking pictures either, right? <laughs> nope. It's actually recording. Taking a continuous picture? We're like professionals now. <laughs> <laughs> We're like professionals or something. <laughs> we can record pornos. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down, Beavis. Well, when you got the catfish strips last night and breaded them up with that angry stuff. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're promoting the we're promoting stuff right now, man. We know. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it should turn out good, man. I had like about thirty pieces of fish. I forgot we're supposed to be in bad moods. I mean, I fuck fish. I hate it. Beans, you step. You step. I never used this type of cock before, actually. I mean, that's just a pretty hot cock. <laughs> oh, man, for real, though. It doesn't bounce around nearly as much when I'm just holding it like this. I should just bring this tripod everywhere. <laughs> you can make phone calls with it. Early. Yeah, just holding this <laughs> giant four foot tall. You better shut your beak. Is it beak or bill on a goose? Larry, maybe. God, I'm so angry and in a bad mood. Rah! Rah. <laughs> Ultimate punch. Donkey <laughs> Okay, we wanted to show you guys something real quick. We're going to start down on this end, which this part's not quite as bad to you get to what Jamie just poked. So the guy wants all this stuff cocked because there's birds that keep nesting in there. So one, we wouldn't have gone with caulk, we'd have gone with uh, expanding foam. But two, he just kind of blobbed it and just let it fall out so it's real blobby and nasty looking. And then we have to end up painting over part of that. Some more blobs. Another blob over this way. All the way up there. Yeah, all these are blobs. He can tell he gets a little better as he goes down. But then we get to what Jamie just did. This is all what Jamie did and he smoothed this out and tried to get, like we didn't have to do a perfect job here, but he wanted to get that stuff flush, and then you take your finger and you run down the where the, uh, the roof meets, or the underside of the roof meets the face. That way it gets nice and smooth, and whenever we paint that, it'll pretty much disappear. You know, you're never gonna get rid of the top part of it because we're not painting that high up. But yeah, there's a huge difference between that and that and that. Yeah. Just to reiterate, I'm in an angry, bad mood. <laughs> yeah, that feels totally safe. <laughs> I need to start factoring in good looks with my beard, you know? <laughs> you got a special section just for good looks. At least get another two dollars right there. That's good, right? <laughs> Alright. Oh! oh. oh. I figured it out the corner of my eye. Yeah, it's got it on camera, I hope. Yeah, that felt awesome. That was God. God did that. <laughs> I thought if I was going to get injured on a ladder, it would be because I fell off of one. Track. I changed angles, so now we're basically professional filmmakers. All oh, right. Really? We have two angles now. That's I think that's 
basically what they teach in film school. They're like, you need at least two angles when you're making a movie. I paint leaves and everything. You need to leave them alone. <laughs> I would normally go with the grain, but I can't reach it. <laughs> you, you need an adult to come over there and. Or <laughs> 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 Ultimate punch. We mentioned back brushing in another video. That's what he's doing here, if you didn't see that other one. Put a lot of paint on it, and you take the brush, and you brush that into the fibers of the wood. So you're filling up all those tiny little cracks and pores. Then this acts as a primer, and then once this dries, we'll go back over this with another coat. Because as you can see on that left-hand side over there, let's see if I can get my hand on camera over there. That's all starting to look see-through because that wood is so porous and the people who originally painted it never primed it. That's why all that paint and stuff fell off the side like an asshole. And then with back brush, yeah, if you don't back brush, it's gonna look like this. You can see all the cracks and everything, the paint that we peel off. But once you brush it in, as you see, it fills in all the cracks and then you won't have to back brush the second coat. This will all be smooth and you can just spray your top coat on it and be done. Oh, but yeah, it looks like people don't like prime when they first painted it. Yeah, never think of your stuff as it's just a shed. Like, I don't care, it's just a shed. Because you're going to end up having to redo it eventually. Just do it right the first time and let it last 20 years. Or, better yet, don't and then hire us to come fix it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, try yourself, and then when it don't look good, just call me. 618-943-0222. That's 618-943-0222. Thank you. Oh no, we are back to shaky cam. Big color, bro. This is all just primer. We gotta go back over all this stuff again. You get me? See the birds in there? <laughs> They're in there. Sorry if I get overspray on your phone. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's right, I could use a new phone. I didn't even buy a new one today. I need one bag.
climb downhill. So we talked about back brushing that stuff on the back part of the, uh, the shed. So explain to him why we don't really have to do that here. And I mean now. <laughs> uh, cause I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just didn't. It's just too much plywood, man. It, it will actually, uh, whenever I put that top coat on, you won't even be able to tell if there's, there's, it's particle board. I mean, it's just a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's just a, it's just an overhang. <laughs> yeah, it's just an overhang. It's a garage, and it's uh, he just wants paint on it, and it looks it's gonna be bright as fuck. I know that when we get done with it. <laughs> Once you put the top coat on, it, it'll be it'll it'll actually look like it's been back brushed in because it's not as bad as that bare wood out there because that was like frayed wood. This is smooth wood because of plywood, and you won't even be able to tell it. Yeah, so they it's, they take that to make that particle board in here. They literally glue it together, and they. Yeah pack it and they treat it so this has got a treatment over the top of it whereas the wood that's behind the shed is old bare spongy ass wood that's not got any treatment on it at exactly. all so the stuff behind us that we back brushed is going to absorb paint whereas this stuff kind of doesn't yeah it'll, it'll be all smooth white it won't look all patchy like this just primer you're gonna see through it anyway but as soon as i put the top coat on it you won't see any of this uh patchy shit Say hi to YouTube, you piece of shit. Fucking paint's expensive, Jesus Christ. 178 fucking dollars. Holy shit. It's the only, the only time they had an exterior white was fucking $41 a gallon. Jesus. Yeah, exactly. For a shed. For a shed. <laughs> I should have just went to Walmart, but I was like... <laughs> For that, that matter, we just buy a bunch of white crayons. Out of curiosity, uh -huh. why did the monkey fall out of the tree? Because he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> curious George. Curious curiosity. That's why he got curious and he fell out of the tree because he was dead. <laughs> on the cord. Yeah.
That is crazy. again we've got enough paint here to finish it but i got a little trick i use for you folks at home that use paint sprayers if you run out you got this much space left this is how before if you've been watching our videos you still got about a quart in your line close to a quart uh all i have to do is spray these and a couple poles so what i did is i took my suction line out of my paint bucket because there's no paint left in there put it in the water filtered out the paint now I've still got the paint left in my line, which I'm going to use to paint this, and it's going to, at the same time, pull water through it and push my paint out. So, here we go. Wish me luck. So far, so good. Now... <laughs> I got that finished now I just got the poles left and it's, I'm getting pretty close because that was about a half a quart to do that but you'll be able to know as soon as it starts pushing water you'll know the difference in the spray oh, <laughs>